Hi, my name is Arlen Shankman, and I'm responsible for global business development at SAP. Part of my responsibility includes mergers and acquisitions. As you all know, mergers and acquisitions are a highly monitored activity by not only your board of directors, your chief executive, your CFO, and those who lead your business. Here at SAP, we use the digital boardroom, powered by HANA and the Business Objects Cloud to operate our business. One of the key metrics that we follow on that system is the integration of our acquisitions. Today, we're going to review four key metrics that we track in connection with all of our acquisitions. The first will be revenue, the second will be cost reduction, the third will be employee retention, and finally, we'll review where we are with working capital and the return on our investment. M&A has become a highly strategic initiative here at SAP. We spent more than $25 billion in the past 10 years in acquisitions, which have become a key part of our ability to grow our core business. We use this to track the key metrics of our acquisitions. So here in the digital boardroom, you can see the four key metrics that I had mentioned. Personnel retention, cost reductions, working capital, and revenue generation. So if I want to drill into what's happening with my cost reduction, I can go over here to my alerts and see that I'm being told that my finance optimization is only at about 85% of plan. So if I want to drill into this, I can hit my alerts and I can go into finance optimization. So coming over to this screen, you can see that within finance optimization, I can track my overall costs according to plan, my supply chain costs, my HR costs, and my finance expense breakdown by each area. And if I look at these costs, what I see here is, is that my shortfall of about $20, $25 million in finance is primarily a result of exceeding costs in my supply chain, offset a bit by, by some shortfall in my HR, but primarily driven by my costs in my supply chain. So now that we've had a chance to evaluate how we could reduce cost in the acquired business, let's take a look at another key metric, personnel retention. So we can drill down here and take a look as to how we're doing across both businesses. When we acquired this business, it was clear to us that we had to integrate it into an existing business that we had. So we wanted to make sure we not only tracked our internal retention in the operating business, but also in the acquired company. And what you can see here is that in the, in the existing business, we're above plan. We've had higher than expected retention. But in the acquired business, we're about six percentage points lower than the attrition rate we had forecast. So the question for us will be, why is that happening? So I can turn here and drill down into that and take a look and see that, unfortunately, I'm losing the most tenured employees in the business in this acquisition, which not only causes us to lose valued skills, but looking at that tenure, I can see that these are actually some of my most expensive employees. So losing these employees is going to be harder to replace, and it's going to be more expensive to lose these employees across the business. So now what we can do is we can gather this data, and we can put together a predictive model to help us understand not only why people are leaving, but what we can do about it and how we can have these people stay and get back on our plan to ensure that we keep the talent that we acquired in the business. So now that we've had a chance to examine our personnel retention, let's drill into our cost reduction. And let's take a look at what's driving our performance here. Here I can see a breakdown of my spending across finance, supply chain, and HR. And as we know from our previous examination, I have an issue with my supply chain costs. And I can't control my supply chain costs in my existing business, but in the acquired business, I have a pretty strong plan to reduce those costs. So let's take a look across the United States of the acquired business's supply chain costs. And if I take a look here, I can see, oddly, that my two largest locations are in the Pacific Northwest and are resulting in a pretty significant cost as a percentage of my supply chain. So I can drill down here and see if I can isolate these costs here in the northwest part of the country to determine what's actually driving those costs. As you can see, the digital boardroom is an incredibly powerful tool to operate your business. Here at SAP, we operate our company by utilizing the digital boardroom. This tool will help you transform the way you operate your business by collaborating across business lines, but also driving governance through the digital core of your company so that you can operate in real time with the most powerful technology and analytical tools that you can use today to grow and ensure your success across your business.